Hello and welcome back to your 18WJTSN Forum. I'm Caitlin Nykum and a familiar face, familiar person of the communities here today, Miss Jenna Beaker Jones. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. So, you know, you, you've been extra busy just like everyone else has been this fair season and so on and so forth. But more specifically, because you are involved in a lot of different things, we're talking about the former Dubois County Substance Abuse Council and all of the um, fun things that are going on there. So uh, we're excited to talk about it. I don't really know where to start, but you guys have uh, rebranded. You're, you're revitalizing um, into Dubois County Arc. Yeah, so maybe I can start by talking about kind of what the council is. Please. And then we can talk about kind of the transition from our former name to our new name, why we did that, what that means. Yes, I would, okay. I, for people who maybe aren't aware, because, you know, I'm still finding out things about the, the council in itself and learning all kinds of stuff, and you guys are constantly evolving and whatnot, so. Yeah, absolutely. So the Dubois County, formerly Substance Abuse Council, is Dubois County's local coordinating council, mm -hmm. or an LCC. So every county in the state of Indiana has an LCC, and really that started, I want to say, the very late 80s, early 90s, and the LCCs are funded through the county mm -hmm. per state statute. So what that looks like is anyone who gets convicted of a substance abuse related offense, whether that's OWI, possession, um, anything that is substance related in, in nature, um, they get court fees associated with that. And part of the court fees per state statute come to our fund. Ah. So our primary role is to accept those funds and then grant them back out in the community. Okay. So we'll talk a little bit more about like our grant process and what that looks like because we're a day <laughs> ahead of that. That starts in August. Um, and so we'll, we'll get to that, but I want to talk a little bit more about the council. So it is a group of members of the community, right? And we have people from kind of all sectors, right? We have um, folks from the Jasper Chamber. We have um, local political leaders that come to that meeting. We have mental health treatment facility like folks, the hospital, LifeSpring, everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. um, and they all meet regularly to discuss how do we address substance misuse in Du Bois County and really all of the ways that substance misuse impacts all of us. Because if you think it's not impacting you, it is, it might be indirect, but we all um, as a community really should be interested in addressing it because it benefits us all to do so. Right, and something that I didn't realize before sitting down is I thought the Substance Abuse Council was a non-for-profit, but you guys are actually very involved with the Du Bois County government and because of how that relationship works, you guys are kind of like the action committee to go do things to help um, spread awareness, spread um, support resources and all of that stuff, right? So our county's setup is unique. A lot of different counties do function their LCC as a nonprofit. Ours is housed under the county government. So for example, April Jones, our coordinator, is considered a county employee mm -hmm. in her role um, as coordinator. So that's kind of how our um, council works and honestly that's beneficial for a lot of reasons so our council website is housed underneath the county website all of our funds are run through the auditor's office um, and we function as part of the county the tax exempt status all of the things the council um, benefits from those yes and you know you guys are you you plan a lot of year year-round events and you know you you give uh, quarterly or monthly updates for your roles and all of that stuff. So uh, you guys have, of course, been busy. And I, I think you're kind of spoiling the surprise because you're wearing almost like the logo color green. Totally intentional. Totally intentional. Okay, well, we'll pretend I planned that. It's like, totally oh, I didn't plan that, sorry. Yeah. So the, um, the, the, the uh, leading factor to that, I would love to talk about the, the new name, the new logo, the rebrand, and really why you guys decided that it was necessary at this time and place. Yeah, so it has long been the Dubois County Substance Abuse Council. And there were, you know, multiple kind of motives behind updating that name. First of all, like, I am a substance use disorder therapist in real life, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a volunteer role for me to be chair of the council. Um, and something that continues to come up in the profession is the word abuse becoming 
falling out of favor, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's very stigmatized language, and so because we had that in our name, um, there's been kind of a, an undercurrent of wanting to update that for a long time, as well as like substance abuse counsel doesn't really indicate what we do very well. So we really thought, you know, first of all, we have April skills for marketing and branding. So I definitely wanted to put her to work for that. Shout out to <laughs> April. Um, but then kind of, you know, meet all of those needs with one move. So at the beginning of the year, we started as a council among our members, kind of putting back and forth ideas, right? We asked them, you know, do you have any suggestions of what you think would be an appropriate name for the council? And we went through a couple Google votes <laughs> via email, and we landed on the Dubois County Advocacy for Prevention and Recovery Council or Dubois County ARC. So unfortunately, our poor P in prevention did not fit the aesthetic. <laughs> um, so the P is silent, <laughs> but it is there. And we're going to operate as Dubois County ARC. And the idea behind that, first of all, we move away from the stigmatized language, but secondarily, it encompasses what we do a lot better mm -hmm. because our goal is to work on prevention, right? As a council, we don't want to just be reactive. That's part of what we fund, treatment services, criminal justice services, but ultimately, we would love to work ourselves out of a job, right? Prevent the substance misuse that's happening in the community um, and support those that are in recovery from substance misuse. So that Dubois County arc First of all, it's short, sweet, catchy, um, makes for a very cute logo, yes. and also, more importantly, encompasses what we do better without that stigmatized language. So I think for folks that are either in active addiction or are in recovery, even if they're newly in recovery, that title is a lot more inviting than the Substance Abuse Council. Right, and I mean, it's never, never a bad thing to give everything an update, a refresh, to just... Uh, bring some good vibes in, give it a, a hard reset per se, and kind of scrub, scrub it of old things and try something new for sure. I think it's important that we continue to evolve as the needs of the community evolve, yes. right? Dubois County as a whole has made such huge strides, and I would say the last like even couple years, but definitely the last five. You know, we have the Dove House now, we have Next Step Recovery House for men, LifeSpring Open Hope Center, you know, and that's already building on Dubois County's very strong AA network. And even you see like in our criminal justice services, a push towards providing rehabilitative programming, mm -hmm. right? I think we're moving away from this idea that um, judging and condemning and writing off folks who struggle with addiction is gonna work. And mass incarceration, we've been trying that for 40, 50 years. Um, and it hasn't reduced recidivism. So there's been a push nationally, um, and I would say Dubois County really is ahead of the curve for a lot of places in Indiana, and so we wanted to continue that trend by making sure that our language, our title, matches what we're trying to do, which is help people maintain, well, obtain and maintain sobriety, mm -hmm. and then be able to give them meaningful opportunities to give back to their community. Yes, and I mean, I. Here in Dubois County, we tend to uh, tend to think about our picturesque, book-like um, existence, and you know, a lot of things we are blessed with not having terrible things happen in Dubois County a lot of the time. But uh, cannot stress enough that substance abuse, no matter in it, in whatever way, shape, or form, it is here. It is here every single day. There's people that you know who are living with it every minute of their lives, and so having this resource and starting at a county level and being able to support these smaller organizations is just as important. And, and it doesn't matter if you are directly affected by it or indirectly, because it's it does make up a big part of the community. And knowing now that it really is, it's out in the open. You guys are, um, you know, making it hip, cool to you know have all the support is just tremendous for a county who may or may not have uh, treated it so fairly in, in years past, one might say, but um, it's, it's a lot of great growth, for sure. Yeah, I saw the other day, uh, what was it? It was at Dubois County Community Corrections. They had um, something on their TV in the lobby, and it was hashtag sobriety is cool. <laughs> and we want to make sobriety cool, but I think also we have to recognize that it's hard. Yes. And so our ability to be able to not only um, provide resources, you know, at the events that we directly host, 
but our granting process mm -hmm. where we can fund other folks in the community that are working to address substance misuse at all levels. Yes. It's like, I always say grant day is like Christmas. You know, you have all of these folks come in and they talk about all of their cool ideas and all of these evidence-based initiatives. And we're like, go do it. Yeah, so I mean, the you're, you're infamous for perfect segues, so I'm not going to take that away from you. <laughs> so with the grant process, I hear the word grant and I think, oh, this is big, top level. You have to have a lot of distinction. Well, now, what does the grant process look like for Dubois County ARC and like, what does that involve? What a great question. I had no idea that's where we were going. <laughs> so our grant process actually opens up August 1st. Yes. Okay. And we're accepting grant applications until the end of August, namely that last Friday, so August 30th at noon. So what this looks like, the court fees that we have collected from the previous year get broken down into four categories. One of those is administrative, right? It pays our coordinator, it pays for any supplies for events. But the other three are prevention education, mm -hmm. treatment intervention, and criminal justice services. So organizations or entities in the community that are addressing substance misuse in any of those three categories can apply for a grant. We have a little over, I want to say it's around $10,000 in each category. So there's about $30,000 plus up for grabs. Um, and what that looks like is, for example, I, I can give you some folks who have maybe received grants in the past. So we have funded things like, um, you know, the camera for Dove House, yes. so the ladies there can zoom into programming at their indie office. And we've funded things like, um, equipment for local officers to be able to better be equipped to move substances off of our streets, right? We've also funded things like incentive programs or programming materials for probation, for corrections. So folks that are in recovery or wishing to be in recovery have less barriers to getting that treatment for them. But if you um, are part of an organization or know of an organization that would benefit from our funding because something they're doing directly impacts substance use or even indirectly, right? Um, that education for kiddos in school, people are like, how does that prevent substance use? Because if we can give them the tools ahead of time mm -hmm. to cope with big feelings and strong emotions and know how to ask for help and where to get it, we give them tools to use when they get older, Yes. right? As someone who works directly with folks that struggle with addiction and have, I've already been doing this a long time. Like it's kind of crazy <laughs> um, for how old I am, for how long that I have worked in and around our criminal justice system and with addiction. We're all just trying to fill the void, honestly. Some of us, it may be um, ordering things off Amazon we don't need, it's me. right? It might be eating you know, six cookies because that makes us feel better. It might be substances, it might mm -hmm. be gambling, like it, everybody has their thing. Unfortunately, what we see with addiction is that those things tend to be illegal, yes. right? And they have um, just really huge consequences. Yeah. So being able to reduce that in our community is really our goal. But I'm going off on a tangent. So let me circle back and wrap up. Our grant applications open August 1st. You can find that application on our website. So if you go to the county website and you search Dubois County um, Advocacy for Prevention and Recovery Council, I don't think we have it under the acronym, um, you would be able to find that grant application. We'll also be posting that on our Facebook page, which is literally just Dubois County Advocacy for Prevention and Recovery Council. Um, I was gonna say, I don't think you can search the old name anymore, but Regardless, you can find the information there. The grant application is something you download. It's like a fillable Word document, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then you save that completed application and you email it directly to our coordinator. That's how we're submitting applications. Um, they are due by August 30th at noon. And that new email is dcarc at duboiscountyin.org. So, please send in your applications. We're always looking for new opportunities to fund. We're looking for the folks that we funded before. If you have um, long-standing programs or you have new ideas, come and talk to us about it. That process will look like submitting the application electronically, and then we will bring you back for a date in September that we are, um, I actually need to finalize later <laughs> today. 
and you will have 15 minutes to kind of share with us what you're asking for and that allows the council to ask follow-up questions mm -hmm. and for us to really kind of understand what you are working to do in the community and I'm telling you it's like Christmas it's one of my favorite days and I'd say as well the, the way that you're explaining the opportunities it, it is like even if you don't know if you would qualify just put in the application just try it because um, you know it's a collaboration and if, yeah. if you can get something to work more power to it I mean it doesn't hurt to at least put your name in the hat for the drawing per se. And if anybody has questions they're more than welcome to email that dcarc at duboiscountyin.org email address and just ask our coordinator. The only thing that really is a barrier is because those checks are coming directly from the auditor's office. Um, I can't like write Caitlin Nykema check, right, right? right? It would have to be an organization um, or an entity. Fortunately, we can't check, cut individuals' checks. Right. So, Otherwise, I'd be like bringing all kinds of ideas to life, Christmas. right? So August 30th at noon, make sure it's in, make sure it's good to go. Jenna, thank you so much for coming to talk with us. We will hopefully see you here soon to get to talk about all of these fun extra upcoming things as they kind of progress and uh, develop and whatnot. But uh, best of luck and I mean, excited to have Dubois County ARC. Uh, here with us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you so much at home for watching. This has been your 18 WJTS Inform with no longer the Dubois County Substance Abuse Council, but the Dubois County Advocacy for Prevention and Recovery Council, or Dubois County ARC. And we are local people watching local people. <laughs>